Oh. Hey. For real?
Bull, that's a new high score. The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? You have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point. Come on, you have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete. Hell yeah, triple 20. Whoa, he hit such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. We're almost down to zero points. Let's really focus for this last round. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Zero points right on the dot. Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane, but it makes you want to do your best for your partner.
<laughs> Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Even if it is just a game, it can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Uh, oh, let's invite everybody next time. Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck? Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Ooh, what's that? Oh yeah, they have pool here too. Hmm, this game could be useful too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget, we got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Hey.
you found our next big- Target? I just started looking yesterday. Oh yeah. Bye. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. That guy is such a... down, isn't it? I thought something like this would happen, so I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. Want me to pack a towel and change of underwear next time? Well, see you around. I forgot my umbrella. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. Huh? But how are... Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? That... It'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks again for letting me join you. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Oh, the preliminary competition for gymnastics. Two huge competitions are coming up, one at the beginning of summer and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative, and there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. It's nothing extraordinary, but it's for my dream. So I'm willing to put in every bit of effort that I have. Oh, we're already at the station. I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some... Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort her around? Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. No, if anything, it's my own fault. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. Oh, excuse me, my father's calling. Hello, Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. Seems pretty rough. Aoyama Ichome. This is Aoyama Ichome. Train doors are now closing. Please stand back.
Ichome. This is Aoyama Ichome. Well, then where have you been? Hmm. I've been searching all along, confessing twilight and all.
Please. Very well. You've got guts. out. <laughs> Don't tell me.
We didn't experience any of the wonders of space, but at least the taste was passable. You seemed much more excited by the toy than the taste anyway. Sh shut up! I saw you eating around those pickle things or whatever they are, Justine. Th that wasn't food from this Earth. It was clearly a alien spawn of some sort. What? Is this true? See. Well, they didn't taste bad. But seriously, what are they? I ate all of mine, you know. Calm down, Caroline. We're getting off track. <clears throat> well, at any rate, we've determined that hamburgers are incapable of conveying the majesty of space. While the toy spaceship helped to soften the blow, there's no denying the truth. Now we will formally acknowledge the completion of your task. Here is your reward. You better work just as hard next time. We know about all sorts of locations that would aid your rehabilitation. I'm still taken aback by the truth. Your world is absolutely full of these shop places. For a reasonable fee, nearly every desire can be fulfilled, all as if it were nothing. That does sound interesting. I believe it may merit further research. Anyways, Good work, inmate. Your final task for the day is to escort us back to the Velvet Room. Let's move! out today, but I will ask him tomorrow. Please, wait a...
What do you want to do? Oh, thank God! Great. Good work today. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Focus. Don't 
Okay. Let's go.
welcome. Take a look around. Let's do it. 